Hi, I'm Amy Lewis with NetApp SolidFire, and I'm here with Reiner. Can you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Reiner. Uh, I'm head of the hosting platform in One One. So, how many Docker cons have you been to? Um, it's actually the second DockerCon uh, I've been, but the first one here in the States. So what has this been like for you? What about the energy and the announcements and what, what, are you, what can you share with us about this? It's amazing. They're so energized here. There's so many ideas circling around and so many new things coming along every day in the other. Um, so it's very, very inspiring and uh, it's really interesting to see how fast this industry is moving and how fast they're able to adapt all the, the fancy stuff uh, which even sometimes seems that they're developing here. So what are you working on? What's, uh, what's got your attention around Docker? Um, we were looking for a long, long time for such a solution for a very simple reason. Um, there's a strong demand from our customers getting more flexibility, having more different solutions. And at the end of the day, it's very difficult to provide them with the legacy systems we had, uh, with the existing systems in place because they're this kind of one-size-fits-all solutions. But what we need to do is we need to provide more flexibility. And this Docker container technology is first time able to provide us a high degree of flexibility for our customers on one side, but at the same time provide it very efficiently so that the total cost of ownership of our platforms is not just, just screwing up everything. So I know we have a lot of uh, engagement between NetApp SolidFire and between one and one So what are some of the things that you're working on there? Uh, absolutely. Um, to make all that happen, um, we need this kind of software stacks and this container stuff. Uh, but at the end of the day, we still need this kind of physics underneath. Um, and we still need computing, but we still need storage. And we need storage, and we need very efficient storage. We need storage which is fast and serving many, many different types of use cases, from simple backup use cases, so we store it once and we forget it potentially. Uh, up to uh, databases, up to um, applications which have a really significant high demand on, on, on data, high IOPS, high write, write, read write cycles. And that's exactly where we need some sort of solutions where we try to have one system which fits as many use cases as possible. And that's after a long, long time and long elevation, we, we just figured out that, that there is a perfect match um, uh, at this point in time uh, with, with using SolidFire. Uh, we always like to hear that. <laughs> so what else are you uh, focused on at the conference? What are some of the other things that have been a real uh, focus for you? Yeah, um, I think we, we, we have to look forward. Um, today we, we're providing solutions which, which offer high flexibility to our customers. They can build their own LAMP stacks. It's like, like building in a in Lego brick system, building things. Um, and that's already something customers can use today. And they will find it natural and common very, very soon. Um, what we need to do next is really um, describing services, defining more on the service level for the customer. And the customer can talk to us and saying, hey, I want to have a geo-redundant WordPress installation in two continents, but I'm going to deliver these services in, across the world, so I need content delivery, I need uh, DDoS protection. So we're talking more about the service level. Um, we have to define for the customer and, 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 and agree and, and make sure that we can deliver the service level for the customer. Uh, and do all the work in the background, um, uh, which is our part then, making sure we can deliver this service um, with a given infrastructure, with, with the systems you provide, and the systems we can see here at the DockerCon. So you're saying that customer needs aren't getting any less uh, demanding or complex in the future? <laughs> at the end of the day, we have to, do, um, we have to hide all the complexity for the customer. That's our, our task is really to make sure that the customer gets a service, a service he can understand, he can use. And all the complexity of making it working as simple, as easy as possible, which is very, very complex. To make something simple is probably the most complex thing you can do. Um, so we have to hide all the complexity into our own technology teams to make sure that they find the proper solution to have a simple solution for the customer and get the complexity in our data centers. Oh, I really like that. Speaking of speaking of complex, I've never had one of these. Can we see if we can get this to work? That's Let's see. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> it's working. Complex, simple. <laughs> so what do you think about this? This is a first for me. What do you? Uh, first time uh, I have this as well. I thought it's very strange and weird stuff. <laughs> uh, you never know really what it's doing, but at least it's lighting. So <laughs> <laughs> whenever you're looking for someone, <laughs> Good point. Simple answers. <laughs> Thank you very much. And we'll see you next time on Pop-Up Tech Talks.